Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I'm gonna show you how to make this fun fall card featuring our pick of the patch bundle. This is one of my favorite bundles from the mini catalog. We always love a punch and this is a great one. It's actually a pumpkin builder. So you have two different pumpkins plus you have the uh, leaf and the stem. And I was inspired actually by my front porch. I have been buying pumpkins. I if you know me, you know I love pumpkins, and I've been stacking them and making cute little arrangements, so I thought, let's make a card that looks just like my porch. The only thing I don't have is that bird. He's awfully cute, but no bird on my porch. All right, we're going to start. This is just our scrap piece. Um, this piece, and the measurements will be over on my blog for you. This smaller piece of very vanilla is for the, our little scene. And so I think what we'll do is start there. Now I have all my pumpkins. There are quite a few pumpkins in this set. I have them all on blocks and we're just gonna start stamping. Um, I'm gonna do pumpkin pie and I'm gonna do some rock and roll inking as well in just a second, you'll see. I'm gonna start right here towards the bottom, and I'm gonna stamp that one in pumpkin pie. Now I'm gonna also open up my Cajun Craze ink pad, and I'm going to start by inking it in pumpkin pie, and then rolling around the edges like that, and then again inking it in pumpkin pie, so it kind of uh, blends that ink together. Then I'm going to stamp that right on top. Okay, see how it's got those darker edges? Now I'm gonna do the same pumpkin. Actually, nope, let's do the smaller pumpkin in Cajun Craze, right there. Okay, now the rest of the pumpkins we're gonna actually punch out. So let me clean off this one with my chamois. And before I do this, I wanna take a look at my punch and see if I'm gonna punch this bigger one out, it's probably best for me to do it here on the corner. And if I'm gonna do the smaller ones, it's best for me to do them turned with their the top towards that edge, okay? So let's do this one first. We'll do, this is kind of the medium-sized pumpkin. I'm gonna do that one in pumpkin pie. I'm gonna do that rock and roll again where I ink it in pumpkin pie and then roll it around and then again in pumpkin pie and We'll stamp that right there. Put some space in between them because we've got some other things that are gonna be punching your cardstock. And if you put them close together, you might punch the stem, you know, from the pumpkin. All right, let's do the bigger one. Here's the bigger one. And we're gonna do this one in Cajun Craze. All right, now we have these little dots, these little spots, and I love these. These are just gonna add some texture kind of to our pumpkins. And I'm gonna do Cajun Craze on this one. And uh, let's see, do I wanna do some on here? Yep, we'll do Cajun Craze on that one, Cajun Craze on that one. And then I'm gonna clean it and switch over to pumpkin pie. And we'll do some pumpkin pie here like that. And we'll do some pumpkin pie on this one as well. All right, so let's move our ink pads out of the way. And I'm gonna get my punches, or my punch, and punch these out. There's that one. And then, sometimes we have to cut our paper. Let's see if we can slide that one in, like that. There we go. And then we'll do this big guy over here, like that. All right, so now I'm gonna take a piece of early espresso and I'm gonna cut out, let's see, I need one, two, three, four stems. So I'm just gonna go one, and we'll dump them out as we go. Two, and it's gonna start giving us other scraps as we put this paper in. Three, so don't lose your stems within the scraps. Four, all right, so now, Oh, I don't have my liquid glue, so we'll just use our glue dots. And I'm just gonna take a glue dot on the end of each of these stems and put them on my pumpkin. And the stem, the fat part of the stem goes on the bottom. If it was an apple, the fat part of the stem would go at the top. 
I always have to think about it. And I kind of want them, you know, kind of all pointing in different directions. All right, let's get one more. Now we need some of our leaves. So we'll come back with that piece and let's see if the leaves are down here at the bottom like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stamp them down along the bottom. And I'm gonna do that in Old Olive. And let's see, we need three. So one, two, three. And to make it a little bit easier, I'm gonna cut this into a long skinny strip. And we'll just feed this through here. Now I can't punch with my left hand. I have to do it with my right hand. There's one. Oop, we got some straggler early espresso. Uh-oh, now look what I did. I, I put them a little bit too close to each other. So that last punch punched off the top of my leaf. So I'm gonna have to stamp another one. One, two, let's do that again. Where did I put my leaf? Right here. There we go. And feed that right through there like that. All right, now let's add some of these little curly cue vines. Um, we've got two different little vine images. So you can just kind of play around with how you like them. I'm gonna take this one and if I'm gonna take this pumpkin right here and overlap that there, then I want that vine right there. So you kind of have to eyeball it before you put these down. And then we'll put that right there. Now my next one, I'm gonna go a little bit higher. So we'll take that and go, let's do it this way. Let's see about like that. And get a dimensional. Put that right there, okay? And then we're gonna do, let's see, I want it a little bit higher. I guess maybe I didn't stamp my green up high enough, so let's go a little bit higher. We'll do this one like they're connected. There we go. That's better, we can see that better now. All right, and then last but not least, we've got our small one right here, and we will do this one. Well, I don't want to get, let's see, I'm gonna put this down because I don't wanna get ink on my desk. We'll do like that and let's see how that looks. So there's really no rhyme or reason here with your pumpkins. Just start punching and stamping and they will be adorable. Make your stacks however you want. You can do different colored pumpkins. We have green pumpkins, there's some actual pinkish pumpkins, white pumpkins. I mean, the, the possibilities really are quite endless. I'm gonna put this leaf kind of down here like that. All right, now for our little crow, I'm gonna stamp him in memento black standing right here on this pumpkin like that. All right, and then I'm gonna color. Now his, his uh, beak is overlapping that pumpkin, but we'll color it in so that it looks like, there we go. Very good. All right, so now let's get our card base. And I am using Very Vanilla again, and I have cut a strip of this paper, and this is the Oh Holy Night paper. It's actually Christmas paper, but it works really well with this too. It's this awesome new color we have called Copper Clay, which goes really well with your fall. Um, I'm gonna stamp a couple of pumpkins on this as well. Let's do a pumpkin pie pumpkin over here in the corner, and we'll do the stem. Let's see, do I have my brown pecan pie? We'll do the stem. Now the stem is really long, I have found. So for some of them, I only inked half of the stem. Um, let's do this one over here on this edge like this. And we'll do, whoops, I didn't do a very good job of that. Let's see if I can lay that ink down there. That's a little bit better. And we'll do that stem like that. 
And then we're going to take our vines, which I've got so many stamps here on my desk. We'll do one like that. And we'll do one like, let's see, we don't want to get ink on the desk. So we'll do like that. And now we're going to mat this. Actually, you know what? Let's not do dimensionals just quite yet. Let's do, because we'll put dimensionals on the back. So let's adhere this to, this is a copper clay piece. And now we'll do dimensionals on the back of this. Like that. And we're gonna kind of do it over towards the left side. All right, so now let's make our sign. Um, I used this die right here from the Give It A Whirl dies to make this little sign. And it says, you're, you're the pick of the patch. And we will stamp that in pecan pie. And then, and we're gonna, um, we're gonna go through the back like this. And I'm gonna use a dimensional to hold this on in the back like that. And then you really just need a very small piece. We're gonna make this like a hanging sign. Like that. I'm gonna have to trim off some of that. Well, I didn't even get it caught. That's okay. We shall do it differently. We'll put it, whoops. We will put it like this. And you don't want to have too much hanging because you don't have a lot of room to hang. Just stick that right there onto your um, dimensional. All right, so then bring this over here and set it down. And then grab some of these cool little metallic sequins and we'll use one of them kind of like as our nail that it's hanging on like that and then we'll just put some others around and these other colors are nice too i have cut my sheet in half not sure where the other half is but <laughs> it will work and there you go a fun little pumpkin themed fall card. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Have fun with your pumpkins, play around with them, make some stacks, use different colors, and let me know if you have questions. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube, hop back over to my blog, where there is a free PDF with the measurements and the supply list. Have fun stamping, everybody. Bye-bye.